bought the striker, in one sense, they were really just catching up with the Marines, who were making an 8x8 wheel, armored vehicle work for quite a while. Now, though, the Marines are getting a new system for one variant of their light armored vehicles, the Lavot, which will make them even deadlier and easier to maintain. According to a release by Marine Corps Systems Command, the LAV ATM project gives this version of the LAV a new turret. The LAV will still be firing the BGM-71 tube launched, optically tracked, wire guided missile. Don't be surprised that the tow is still around, the BGM-71's latest versions could be lethal against Russia's Armada main battle tank. Compared to the legacy version, the new turret is unmanned. It fires both wire-guided and radio-frequency tow missiles, and it can acquire targets while on the move with an improved thermal sight," said Jim Forkin, Program Manager's Office Lab ATM team lead. The turret is important because it protects Marines and gives them an enhanced capability that they didn't have before, Chief Warrant Officer for Michael S. Lovell, Ordnance Vehicle Maintenance Officer, explained. Compared to the legacy version, the new turret is unmanned. It fires both wire-guided and radio-frequency tow missiles, and it can acquire targets while on the move with an improved thermal sight," said Jim Forkin, Program Manager's Office Lab ATM team lead. The turret is important because it protects Marines and gives them an enhanced capability that they didn't have before.